Should we be wowed today with wow stick? Let's check it out. What's going on? My name is Dimitri from FlexRC and today, today I'm going to check out another innovation from Banggood. Uh, it's a wow stick 1F plus, uh, which I've got for around 50 bucks, I think, and um, it's time to open it up and actually test it. Let's see what is inside of this uh, uh, white, beautiful box. You check this out. Uh, we've got another envelope, and what is inside of this envelope? Ooh, yeah. Cute. Check this out. It's uh, some kind of mate and easy and enjoy uh, samples of um, bits that I included. And they call it actually Wow Station. So it's like Wow Station essentially. Uh, all right, let's continue. By the way, it seems like it's packaged really well. It's like uh, some high end product uh, what we will do we'll do like that fast way and one more piece left here all right so let's start from the small box how do i open it all right it's open mm, nice check this out so we are getting here uh what looks to be USB cable of the nice quality. It, uh, I like the flat one, which uh, they have in this case. What else? This, I have no idea. This one is probably to pick up some stuff. And what, oops, maybe I just have to take it all out. Oh, check this out. Such a tiny can, you can store your tiny screws for your tiny, tiny projects. All right, so I will just put it back so it won't uh, become a mess and I will be able to find it later. I like when it's all well organized in the boxes, otherwise it just becomes mess, isn't it? Uh, yeah, also one thing almost, uh, no, it's too small, I, I cannot read it. Yeah, I, and I don't really care what it is, so let's throw it away. Uh, what's next? Some brick. And it actually says what I am a base. Oh, yeah. See how sweet it is. I actually write what exactly it is. I am base. Yeah, nice. Bit small font though. Uh, all right, all right. Super solid. It's like aluminum or something like that. Nice, okay. Oop. Eh. What's next? I am a beats group with X2. What is X2? What is X2? Let's check it out. It will answer. Ooh, wow. That is neat. Check these out. How well they are packaged. How do I open it? Oops. Ooh, okay, so you pull out this thing, and I guess you just... Oh, it's like that. That is genius. And so well organized. Okay, let's uh, put these two pieces next to each other. Let's open next box. And it is also a beat group with X3. X3 may be bigger, so here what we have... Yeah, this uh, seem to be like X and yeah, X, I don't know. Too many of them. Let's check it out. All right. And over here. Oh, wow. That is interesting. Check this. So we'll open it up here as well again. And... Oh, okay. So need to be careful. They can actually f fall out. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, wow, this is quite long, so it's uh, you will be able to access 
hard to reach places with it. Okay, let's let's insert them all back so I don't I don't want it to be lost. All right, goes back fairly easy, and it's nice. It's like soft uh, plastic or something. Uh, check this out. I don't know what are they for, but I guess there is an application. It's it feels like this set may have all kind of bits you can ever think about. If you want to disassemble your iPhone, Android device, or MacBook Pro, it should work, I think. Oh, one more bit, and they call it actually X1. Okay, so I guess this is first one, second, and third. All right, here, uh, like the flat one. And you know what? I actually just realized they have here the list of what is included, so you will be able to find it relatively easy. Okay, and I am a dual power screwdriver. All right, so dual power, does it say it's twice as strong or does it mean anything else? Oh yeah, it spins right out of the box, wow. I mean, it looks really neat, it's like, uh, Really nice style, everything of the same length, and I assume this goes here. So it's like, let me write something for you, it's my new pen. Okay, what else is here? It actually says here, it's I am a case. Nice, nice, nice. So we've got here a case as well. Oh, check this, it's white. Are you kidding me? Wow. So, put that one here. And I guess one of the bits goes inside as well. Okay, so yeah, so you won't be able to carry it all with you, but something more useful, like in your pocket, and you just go. And you pull it out, everything looks super fancy, clean. That's uh, pretty sweet. Right, so what's next? Oh, one more item. Oh, we already saw, we already checked it. Sorry, Alzheimer. So, uh, as a next step, I think we're going to test it. Is it even strong enough? So let let me do like a test on animals, like myself. <laughs> I can stop it, I can stop it. Yeah, so I mean, it's not super strong, so yeah. I'm wondering, will I be able to assemble or disassemble drone with it? You know, it uh, should be neat, but uh, usually they are a bit tight. Um, let's try it now. All right, so as a first uh, test object, we are going to use SN2 inch, which uh, we recently seen in a previous video. I will have to find appropriate bit if I knew what size it should be. I have no idea. That one, maybe this one, like H. Yeah, I think maybe it's H20. Where is it? One, one of these, I think, one of them. Let's uh, let's try it. Maybe too big, so a bit uh, the sm smaller brother. UK. Let's try it. Okay, it fits inside. I think at least it fits. Let's uh, try to push it a little bit inside. Ooh, it goes! It goes! Check this out. We took out one screw. Ooh. 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 In and out. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I can play with that whole day. <laughs> well, it looks like lots of fun. Oh, ew. Yeah, a bit kind of bigger, I think. Oh, it's like maybe it's supposed to be like that. Let's uh, try to put it in. But again, we're screwing into plastic, right? So I, I'm not sure how it will behave. Say, let's remove the motor. Hop. 
Wow, it worked! It worked! Wow. That's neat. How about uh, standoff? Ooh, no, it doesn't go. Ooh, oh, 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 I helped it with uh, my hand and it works. And you see, I just realized it has, uh, it has a light. You see? So what it means we can work at night, right? Okay, so I guess let's take a bit uh, more difficult object because we want a bit of uh, challenge, right? Let's take uh, SNX 5 inch and try to see if uh, we can use this amazing wow stick with it. All right, so now I've got uh, this X5 uh, in my hands, my beautiful beloved X5. If you haven't seen it before, you should check out my other video. I will try to link it somewhere over here. Uh, it's a very nice uh, five inch. So let's uh, let's see. I think this bit will go for that one. All right, yeah. I don't have a camera here. I was uh, testing uh, in my last video with uh, comparing it with Rattle. Still didn't have a chance to put it back in. All right. Okay, going in. I think it's probably just spinning uh, the standoff now. Let's try a second one and see if to make it tighter, tighter. Uh, you want it to be really tight on these machines. By the way, what do you think about uh, my uh, GoPro mount I designed? Isn't it beautiful? I like it so much. I, I, I'm going to show you a little bit more this design. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. It managed to put it in. Wow. Check this out. It works. It works. Absolutely fantastic. How about motor? Well, motor is super tight. His energy. No, it doesn't go like. That. But if I will help it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It works. It works. I mean, obviously, obviously. I mean, if to be serious, guys. Um, it's not super strong device, right? It's uh, it's uh, not something heavy duty you will buy somewhere in Home Depot and uh, be able to drill the hole in the wall, in the concrete wall. It's something for tiny things like that, you know? It's uh, I, I think uh, the beauty of it is uh, the size, right? It's very tiny. I have, uh, I think, Black & Decker one, uh, which is twice as big. Uh, I think it also has a battery inside, but then it has a bigger charger. Here, where was it? We are using a regular micro USB cable, right? Here it is. So it should definitely help us to speed up our job, right? Yeah, I like it. Um, What's next? What's next? How else we can challenge this device? I actually had the SSD failure on my MacBook Pro and I think I've got a new SSD already uh, from old WC, if you've heard about it or no, I don't know. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to install it with this tool and see if this tool can actually do it because I think it was actually designed for microelectronics and the computers and stuff like this. And you see what I think, I just realized, by the way, check this out. It actually over here has four magnets and it just goes like that. I just realized it's so genius. Banggood impresses us once again. Nice. So, okay. So what I will do, I think it's probably magnet as well. Let me try. Yeah, so cool, cool. So what, what it means, if uh, we're going to remove some screws, we're using to use, we're going to use this pad and put these screws on top of this pad. It will hold it nicely. So we're not going to lose anything. So I'm going to move this away. I don't need all of that. I don't need, I don't know yet. I don't know yet which, uh, 
bit I need. So I will put it all in the default location. It was here, I think. Oh, it wasn't. Where this one goes? Oh, okay, okay, I see. This this one goes probably over here. No, it's be it's becoming messy already. I, okay, so this one I think was from here, and that one is from the bottom. I'll return it back, and uh, put it a little bit on the side, so we're going to be ready for our work. All right, so uh, I've got here this SSD for my MacBook Pro. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open it up. So it's unboxing within unboxing kind of video. All right, so we're opening it up. And it is the SSD, it's a one terabyte SSD. And it's suitable for my kind of MacBook Pros, which is 2011. No, I'm lying, it is actually 2013. So this SSD is suitable for MacBooks uh, 2013 and such. I've got here my uh, hard working MacBook, which had SSD failure. And uh, we are going to try to remove first of all the bottom plate for that we'll see what kind of uh, pattern do we need it's that uh, looks like some kind of it's not like that for sure not mm, i think it's one of one of these i think i'm, I'm going to find out ex it experimentally by trying um, different bits so how about this one no it's too big how about that one no I think it's not the one for sure it looks a bit different maybe this one no it's too small it's too big too small size does matter after all right okay I think this is uh, the right one I'll put it aside and we are going to hit this button and unscrew the screws. Okay, one is gone. Seems like the fast job, it's so fast. Oh, they are so tiny though, right? So we don't want to lose any of them. Okay, how well does it hold them? Yeah, yeah, nice. Check this out. We can have uh, our screws over here and uh, we don't have to worry about losing any of them. Okay, one more. Oh, sorry, I guess uh, this video is going to be a bit longer than I've expected since the beginning, but I hope we'll have a good test for this tool and see the actual application. Okay, one more, and I think I have a couple more. It's it's going so fast, right? So I'm I'm probably going to open it under a minute. Perhaps we have to repair iPhone with you or something as the next next uh, project. All right, it's opened. I already have uh, SSD removed because uh, it was burned, obviously. Let's see, will this bit work for that one? I think it needs a slightly bigger one, probably the one we tried at first. Let's see. Does it work? Yeah, it works. Yeah, it works. I can do it with my hands, but if I have this tool, why, why to use hands, right? All right. And it's gone, check this out. Well, I guess you cannot see, it's too tiny, right? Okay, the moment of truth. We are going our 
we're going to install our OWC SSD one terabyte. Check out this baby. By the way, I'm not really confident about quality of these uh, SSD drives because uh, I think uh, one broke, the one I bought, and um, so they have to replace one. But they seem to have a very good customer service and you are getting like over five years, no, not like over, just five years of uh, warranty. It should be enough like for MacBook, which is already how many years old? Like almost like I think five years old, right? And if another five years, it's going to be like too old. Okay, so it's going inside like that. Oh yeah, sweet. It's in. We are going to use again our, uh, almost lost it, almost lost it, but I caught it. Uh, okay, it's here. <sighs> Otherwise, go find these screws, right? So, okay, how do we do it? It's probably to you better to use some tweezers. So if you do it, use some tweezers. In my case, I don't have them handy. I don't really want to look for them right now. Okay, let's put it back in. Okay, ooh, it should be super tight. Sweet. Mm, yeah, what is it for? I think it is to transfer heat to the back door. For what I am imagining. All right, so we're going here. And putting it back all right it's so fast it's like I just started and already finishing should we should we try something even tougher okay let's uh, less talking more doing going to screw it back up went inside like it's uh, been always there one more all right one more wait no it didn't go well Ooh, tight tight i'm not sure if they're different height though like uh, can we see are they all the same it seems like some of them are a little bit smaller which one though I have no idea guys, I have no idea. Maybe these are smaller over here or something. Let's uh, try it. Okay, I will just install a smaller one. Oh, it's damaged. Okay, it was damaged before, so it's, it's not something new. It's not something I've done. Not something I've done right now, but something I've done. That's uh, tricky, right? Tricky, tricky. Okay, so... Okay. Does it belong here or no? Or do we even care? Alright, this one goes here. Why would they use different length of screws? Why are they trying to make it more complicated for us? Why even Apple doesn't want us uh, to be able to change stuff? It doesn't make any sense. I would like to extend actually life of the devices I use. I don't want to change them every year because it's just stupid. Why would I uh, spend $5,000 like every couple of years for for MacBook or something, it's uh, it should just uh, work for much longer. This device is a serious thing. Okay, we've got it installed. I'm not going to test it now because it's uh, not the purpose of this video. <laughs> but uh, the tool did its job really well. Will you be able to use it like for renovating your house? No, you won't be able to use it. It's not for that. It's not for screwing stuff into walls. It's not for hammering nails into walls. It is 
for assembling and disassembling gentle stuff like MacBooks, Ascent 2 inch or Ascent 5 inch. They're not that gentle, but it's uh, enough to do the job to assemble or disassemble them. It's nice to fix your cell phone. I assume it has all the bits you need to be able to assemble pretty much any cell phone. I don't know like how much more bits you may need actually with this stuff. So will it do the job? I think it will do the job uh, it is designed for. Does it look cute? I think it looks cute. Like uh, judge for yourself. It seems to be extremely, extremely good looking tool at least in my opinion. It comes with a nice set of uh, items. It has uh, pretty much everything you need. It uh, feels very light and you see it's just length of my hand. You can carry it in your pocket. So you can go to your friend who doesn't have wow stick and wow him or her. And I think on this exciting note, we are going to wrap it up. And I would like to thank you for watching and this video and sticking with me till the very end of this video. I know it's been tough, but I think it was also interesting to see what it is capable of. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, let me know if you actually have this tool and uh, for longer perhaps than me, uh, is it still serving you well? What's uh, your experience with it? Do you still like it? Is it something which can belong to your toolbox? Is it something you may want to have. And on that note, I will see you later. Goodbye.